Hi, this is Manuel Corpas. Today I'm going to be talking about the corpasome. And this is something that has come up after doing several years of research on trying to find how much, how far can we go analyzing the genomes of our family. And that's why we call it the corpasome, because there is a degree of comprehensiveness of all this data that we've been accumulating from my mom, my dad, my auntie, myself, my sister. And we've been little by little with crowdfunding campaigns, with our own private money, with the support of, and encouragement of people, putting all this data on the internet for people then to grab it and take it and analyze it. There are other sources of data which are similar in, in the world, in the internet, that you can have access to. But I think the key difference of why uh, the corpason is a kind of interesting project is because it contains the information for a whole family. We have right now four exomes for the whole family. We have a metagenome, we have five SNP arrays that we have analyzed. We've already um, run tests with things like SNPedia, trying to correlate associations between genotypes and phenotypes. Now the question is, we want to take this a step further. We want to encourage scientists around the world to make use of, the data, of this data if they want. There are a twofold purpose for this. The first purpose, the first objective is the fact that we want to learn uh, about all of the different possible associations or, or, or possible uh, findings that we can have in this data. But I think more importantly is that this exercise serves as a kind of exploratory um, step, exploratory activity that any other family could do in the world. In other words, now this is a very new technology that is just being researched and so on, but I can see in 10 years families around the world analyzing their genomes, trying to find, uh, trying to prevent diseases based on the kind of uh, genetic data that they have. And so what we are doing here is to learn from a private, completely private point of view, how far can we go in the understanding of our own personal genomes? And because we want to go as far as it is possible, uh, we don't believe that just by getting the results from a direct-to-consumer provider of genetic tests is going to give us all the answers. There are lots of methods, there are lots of different techniques, and there are lots of different scientists who have their own expertise, which are not captured by these providers. So the idea is that by crowdsourcing this data to the world, we can have a more complete picture of the kind of data, of the kind of results that this data can produce. So. That's why we are pushing this uh, exercise of the corpasome. And now we've just published this um, commentary in the journal Source Code for Biology and Medicine. And the idea is to encourage people, if they're interested, or they want to do a particular gen genetic analysis, use this data. This is a complete family, which is a very, very important thing because you have other projects like the Thousand Genome Projects. They are all individuals. They are not related. Or you, you can even have um, some data sets that even contain protein. Uh, they contain family uh, information. However, this is family data that only has one specific data set and you don't know the identity of the people and there hasn't been the kind of analysis that we've carried out so far. So I think that this can be a very interesting model for many people around the world. And so uh, I just want to take this opportunity to put this forward and I look forward to have many contributions. All of these contributions will be duly acknowledged, credited through the different publications that we will write, which can be in conjunction with the scientists who send us the data. Um, we've already done that before 
For example, we have published an article in Faculty 1000 Research. It's a new journal and it came out of a collaboration from people around the world, scientists who decided to analyze our family genotype data. So with that, I would like to thank you and I look forward to hearing from you.